So I finally finished Red Dead Redemption 2. When I say finished, I don't actually mean finished. I just mean finished the main game. Because this epilogue, I just couldn't be asked to play it. Because I wanted to finish Red Dead Redemption 2 before Borderlands 3 came out. So I mainly cover Borderlands 3 on this channel. Unfortunately, Red Dead Redemption 2 is just too long and I've just been too busy working. And yeah. But I just want to talk about the game because I think everybody knows that this game is a masterpiece. Like, it's not a secret. Everyone knows. But I just want to go more in depth about why this game stood out from the crowd. Because I've never played a Rockstar game other than Midnight Club. That was a car game, so it doesn't really count. I like, never played GTA and stuff. But this game was just amazing. The story, it could have easily been a TV show. Like people say it would be a film, but you wouldn't get the same detail if it was a film. But a TV show could like show it. Like Arthur's story. You felt bad when he died. Spoiler, Arthur dies. It's just gonna be a spoiler talk about Red Dead Redemption 2. Even the weapons, they felt exactly what I would feel Western sort of old school weapons would feel like. You know, having to press R2 before shooting to make sure the gun's cocked. Is that the right word? Not 100% sure. But yeah. And some of the mission designs were incredible. Like sometimes, you just have a variety which is just insane. Like you have to like kidnap people, pretend to like, like you have to rob a, like a poker game or a boat, something like that. It was, it was just such an incredible game. And... The camp or your gang, you could sort of relate to some of their problems. Not like literally, but you know, you could like, you felt like you were part of the gang when you played as Arthur. And towards the end, you felt kind of sad how the gang was just falling apart because of Dutch's like influence from Micah. I'm pretty sure that was the reason, but I'm not sure exactly why Dutch went so crazy. Maybe they go more into it in Red Dead 1, not 100% sure, but yeah, this game, incredible, if you haven't played it, play it, even if you, like, even if I spoiled a bit of it, doesn't matter, because the game doesn't really have a happy ending, obviously Alpha dies, but you realise that Alpha, he was a good man, and he was trapped in this sort of cowboy world, and even this mission, it was just such a clear differentiation from all the other missions. Because you're shooting like a huge crocodile. It's just... Why not? It reminded me of Last of Us and how that has so many cool set pieces. Which just differed from the regular sort of gameplay. But yeah, this game, incredible. Like the customization and the attention to detail was insane. You could shave his beard and his beard grows back. You could put pomade in his hair and then it'll slowly go over time. And like having to like eat and feed your horse. Obviously that did start off as tedious, but then you sort of got used to it. You realise that you're an actual cowboy and this is what you have to do. But yeah. Obviously some missions dragged a bit. Sometimes you just felt like you were shooting for no reason. But in my opinion, the game is insane. Best story. Okay, one of the best stories I've ever played. And definitely. But no game is flawless. This game did have flaws. And I'm going to get into that soon. But if you haven't played this game, I highly recommend you play it. You'll be missing out if you don't. So yeah. Here we go. What? The negatives to this game is the sort of linear structure of the missions. Like if you like go anywhere other than where the game tells you to go, you fail that mission, you have to restart. If you don't keep close enough to some people, you fail the mission. And it just feels like a step back and doesn't follow like most next gen or current gen games. Because this feels like a sort of PS3 game or if you played Xbox. Saw that sort of game, but other and the weapons you didn't really struggle because the aim assist was insane. 
like I, I turned down my aim assist like like so that I had sort of a challenge. But if I didn't the game would be like really easy. Cause you just lock on to players I mean enemies so easily. I'm not gonna talk about the Red Dead Online because I think everybody knows that needs a bit of work. But hopefully they improve it and make it like GT on online. Because apparently that's a good like mode on GTA. So yeah. And the travelling can get a bit tedious and long. Obviously you can like auto travel to places but it just isn't like sort of the same. But yeah. That's really all I have for negatives about this game. It's just an insane game. If you haven't played it, you're missing out. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, see ya. Expect Borderlands 3 soon.